What's up guys, we'll get Tanya with another video. Today we're gonna be viewing the M14X Alienware. It's pretty nice, huh? So this is the exterior. This little plate here, uh, it says who it's built for. Let me zoom in here. Let the camera focus. Okay, so the camera doesn't want to focus. Alright, see it says built for, it says Goose, that's my nickname. That's a lot of my friends call me because Gustav is my real name. Goose is my nickname. So designed by Alienware, built for Goose. So that's, that's a pretty little cool feature. Let the camera zoom in. Now, the exterior. Let's go over that first. The exterior, guys. It's like a, um. It's hard to describe what it feels like. It's like a very nice like a uh, finish. It's like it's not rubbery, but it's like it's really like that really nice material. Now, if we go to the back. The back side here, I'll move this down so you guys can see better. This back side here is pretty much like really hard plastic. Uh, you have your little uh, plate here telling you, you know, where it's been manufactured by, the barcode, all that kind of stuff. All the stuff on the bottom here. Now let's go over the ports here. On the, let's see, uh, right side, so we can angle this good. We have our Ethernet port and we have two USB ports, as you can see right there. This is right here is our Ethernet. We got two USB ports right here. And then here, this is where your CD drive, all your CDs, DVDs is gonna go in right there. It's very nice because if you look on the side, nothing like sticks out. I have I've had laptops in the past, guys, where like stuff will stick out. So you try putting in bags or like break it, stuff like that. So mm -mm, we don't like that. So this here is nice. Now we go to the other side. Right here is our HDMI. So in case you want to have, put up to like a bigger screen. Maybe like my uh, monitor, for example. We can do stuff like that. Now, ooh, 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 ooh. let me turn it back here. Sorry, this is the VGA. Sorry about that one. This here is HDMI. I was looking at it. I was like, this looks like the HDMI port, not this one. This is VGA. But these two could, like this one, you could hook it up to, let's say, my uh, desktop, my uh, wall thing. This one, HDMI, I could hook up to TV or, uh, let's say, a monitor. Now, the next port is a, I have no idea. That is the, I have no idea what this port is port. And then this one is another USB port here. I'm trying to angle this for you guys to see better. And then right here, we have our microphone port. We have our headset port. It has a headset with a mic, so I'm guessing this one functions with your headset and your mic at the same time. And this one is just for straight headset. And over here we have like our SIM card, or not SIM card, like a um, uh, memory card reader, all that kind of good stuff right there. So now, let's put this down here. It's time to get into it, shall we? Shall we? Okay, camera wants to move. So now, we're going to take a look at the actual Alienware. Boom, booting up. Ooh, that was fast, huh? That was fast, huh? Let me switch it over to my face so you can't see the password, even though it doesn't really matter because you won't be able to log into my laptop because you don't have a laptop. So here we are. This is the really uh, nice finish. This is what I like most about it. it, it this, this, this material here is the same as the outside cover here. It's really, really nice. Now, as you can see, the keyboard is a really good feature. I'm going to show you exactly what it can do. Like that wallpaper, really nice, huh? But yeah, guys, this is a really nice finish. Uh, the way it dips in, it just looks nice, feels nice, all just nice. Now, this here is what I really like about the laptop. Say, for example, we want to change, uh, let's go to themes. Uh, let's go to this theme here. So I click apply. Now, you'll see the keyboard changes. Now, if I want to change, say, this part here, I could just click, let's say, blue. See? So you could pretty much customize it to the color wheel. So you could pick any color you want. And then you can also change it so you can have it morph different colors, all that kind of stuff. So uh, that, that's just another good feature of it, really. Uh, let's go back to what I had it on, the advanced features, which was Sunrise. We're going to click back here. Oops. Nope. Don't want to save that. Sunrise, see, I see it morphs. It loops in between all these different colors, which is why I like it. Uh, I'm still figuring out how to do all that good stuff. But yes, now on to the next feature. One thing I d 
don't like about it is the laptop, how big it is. When the whole thing's actually closed down, it hangs up like right about this. I, I usually have like thinner laptops. That's the only uh, complaint I have about it so far. But I want to, let's look at uh, the speed of the laptop. So say, okay, that was pretty damn fast. Uh, let's just go to, let's say YouTube. As you can see, the internet speed is really fast, or not internet speed, but uh, just going on the internet, for example, is uh, really, really fast. Let's see. Let, let, let's just go to, uh, let's see. Let, let, let's just mess around the internet. So we're going to go to my channel. Boom. Fast. So it's really, really fast. Look at that. Let's go to my boy Straight Aces channel. Boom. Straight up. So as you guys can see, the internet is really fast. And the video automatically starts playing. Look at this. Let's make it HD so you guys can see actually the video quality of this screen itself. As you can see, look at that. The screen is such a nice finish. It looks so nice. Shout out to my boy Straight Ace. But look at this video. So nice. As you can see as well, I have my little... This is the webcam right up here. In case you know, I want to Skype with my beautiful subscribers but yeah so as you see the video of it and just the screen itself is just so nice all right so that is how fast uh, the internet works all that kind of stuff but now we're gonna move on to the games so let's open I'm surprised I don't have a wow shortcut here we go so now I'm gonna open wow so I can show you guys how good the graphics are for this laptop exactly right here and I like doing that because that, that looks like I don't know okay so so far guys the audio the speakers are right here it's a uh, right on top this speaker here you can't really see it maybe if I zoom in there's like little dots you can see kind of but the whole speakers is like right here now the volume of the speakers sounds really nice it's not like too loud it doesn't sound fake like some laptops that I've had uh, a couple in the past, for like a HP, I've had a Dell, for example. This is a Dell, but it's Alienware. It's different, totally different. It's alien. It's alien-made, made by aliens. Anyways, now that we're in game, uh, blah blah blah. Okay, switch around, cause this time you guys really can't see the password. Now, as I enter game, look how it looks. Really nice, huh? I know. We're gonna hop on my warrior just show you around the game, show you how the graphics are. Put on ultra so I can show you what the FPS you're gonna be getting in ultra, show you uh, the FPS you'll get in good, medium, all that kind of stuff. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the keys. If you ever uh, played on like a uh, or have a MacBook Pro or something like that, the keys are very similar. That's what it feels like. It has that little nice feel to it, and it doesn't feel like if you push hard, like you know, like some keyboards you push hard, like oh god, you know, you want to push hard because you might think it's gonna break or something. This is not the case. These keys are like really nice. They react real quickly. Gotta love that one. So now that we're in game, as you can see here, I'm pretty mad I don't have fraps so I can just show you. But we're gonna be going into uh, system settings. Put on ultra, apply. So right now we're on ultra. And as you can see, there is no lag whatsoever. You see I'm moving right now no lag we are currently running at 30 to 31 let's see 30 32 30 fps and now i'm getting attacked but as you can see there is no lag whatsoever you guys see this so i could run wow and ultra with no lag whatsoever now of course guys wow is not super intensive graphics game but this is one of the main games i play so being able to run this on ultra settings which I can on my desktop as well uh, I find that to be super beneficial to myself now I have of course played other games like Dota 2 uh, Starcraft 2 and I can run all those on ultra as well so as you can tell guys the graphics you can run a lot of games ultra settings without lagging uh, but games like I would say Crisis 2 those really super intensive games that nobody even wants to play those games you probably have to dim it down a little bit to maybe like high graphics, good graphics, because even like my desktop, which is like amazing desktop, came run those in ultra settings without lagging. So, um, but you still play those on really good settings. Like I play Battlefield 3 on my laptop on really high graphics settings. 
which is really cool. So now let's log out there. Boom. <clears throat> so those are just some of the, just a little brief uh, review of the Alienware. Right now, uh, I'm really loving it, guys. Uh, I would have to rate it probably like a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, it's just it really works really well. The battery life is really good. If you can see here, uh, it's at 96 percent. It's gonna be at. Well, let's see if we can zoom in there. Come on, camera, focus, focus. Okay, doesn't want to focus. But the battery life, it says uh, it's gonna be at four hours or 22 minutes at 96 percent remaining, and that's gaming. If you're just searching the web, all that kind of stuff, uh, like yesterday, I took the plug out to see how long it lasts watching, I was watching MLG StarCraft livestream, which is going on right now. I'm about to start watching it as soon as I'm done with this video, because I believe Huck just lost, and I love Huck. But anyways, guys, the battery life is really good. If you're just searching the web, you can have like up to anywhere from like six to nine hours of just searching the web time. But just playing straight video games, I haven't done a test on that. So far, from other reviews that I've seen, you have about three to five hours of just straight playing games before the battery cuts out, which is pretty good compared to other laptops. Other laptops, you have, you know, anywhere from one hour to two hours, so that that's uh, that's pretty good. Anyways, guys, this is the Alienware M14X mini review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, I love this laptop, and this one I was talking about before, guys. It's a uh, CQC is pretty big. Uh, how big it is right here yeah because this is my Razer Naga and that's a mouse it's like as big as this mouse and that's that's kind of big that, that, that's the only complaint I have that's the only reason I gave it 9.5 oh else if it was slimmer it would definitely be a 10 guys definitely anyways guys uh, that is the review and my camera doesn't want to stay because it's being annoying anyways guys anywhere M14X review if you don't have one, buy one. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more stuff. I got gold guys coming out soon. Other videos, StarCraft 2 videos, all kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm going to have to say peace out. Hey, one more thing, though. Afro team out.